starting my skincare routine with some Farmacy Deep Sweep Toner. This will help seal all my pores before I start adding all the other products to my face. I don't know why this looks so orange. Anyways, and then I'm going to use the Farsali. It's a rose gold elixir. I'm just gonna spread that all over my face. Then I'm going to use the Beekman Illuminating Eye Serum. This I'm gonna use right here and around my eyes. Gotta use all these products to keep my skin nice and youthful. Then I'm going to use this glow recipe. It's the banana souffle moisture cream. It is calming and hydrating. And it smells delicious like bananas. Everything just goes back to my little mini fridge. By the way, this is how my hair looks after I did that um, Viore shampoo and conditioner bar. This is just natural air drying. And look, my hair looks really curly. I didn't even have any other product in it. And it feels really soft. But I am going to put product here in a little bit because I'm going to diffuse it a little bit and just give it some more bounce to my hair. So I just wanted to let you guys know that that's the result of the Viore product. And I like it and I will be trying it again. And I do have the um, auto ship. And I'm going to see if there's any codes that I get in the meantime. And if so, I will be sharing it with you guys. So I'm going to be putting some primer on my face. This is the Studio Makeup brand. I'm just going to dab a little bit here, here, here. Just make it a point to do the four points. That way everything is distributed evenly and I'm not overdoing it with the products. The primer is what you want to use right before you put your foundation on. And I just put it all over my face and on my neck. And here I got my Guthrie Nutrition Herbalife drink. I got this while I was at the salon the other day. A lady came in. She's just promoting the business. And it's really good. I mean, I love their products anyway, but it was free. It can't be free. Now, some of you ladies know that I recently ordered this brand. That's Il Maquillage. And this is the foundation. There's a lot of advertisement that goes on on the internet for this. So I ordered it because it looked really cool. And this one is in the number 105. Woke up like this. <coughs> Excuse me. And I got to say, I really, really like it. Um, now, I'll probably switch colors because of tanning over the summer and obviously another color for winter time but so far I really like this product it goes on really smooth it also included a little makeup brush for foundation and it was great it came with these two products and I believe an eyeliner so I really did like the price for everything that I got it's a little bit more expensive I believe I paid like 42 or 45 I can't remember but if you do the um, the subscription the auto subscription for every few months I think you can control it like every 30 days 60 days 90 days so I did do that and you get a discount for that as well so I'm putting a few pumps on my makeup brush and it goes a long way then I'm just going to do the four points again As you can see, it actually blends in really nice. And it matched my color 100%. So I was very happy about that. I hate ordering things 
that are the wrong color, the wrong size, the wrong fit. Um, this actually arrived to me, I believe, within like two weeks after I put in the order. So not too long. And they did communicate with me the whole time. So I was happy about that. And it is a U.S. product. See how smooth it's gliding on? I'm gonna go ahead and put some concealer. This is just gonna go right underneath my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and smooth it out. And it'll be blended a little bit better as well when I put some bronzer, which will give it that nice, good sun kiss look but it's blending already I like it I just want to get a little bit lighter under my eyes for those dark circles I'm just gonna blend it out Now one thing that I do want to point out is I am not 100% loyal to one specific brand for the simple fact that there's so many different cosmetics that exist out there that work different on different skin types, skin tones, and I'm always trying different products between my Ipsy brands, BoxyCharm, or if I go to the store and I see something that I really like, then I'm going to try it out, and if it doesn't work, well, you know, it doesn't work, but you definitely want to try out different things for your skin to see what works best for you. So I do have a few different um, options with this Pacifica brand. I've gotten these in my sub boxes and I do really like them. I like this one because I'm going to go through and use this as a bronzer around my face. So I do like that. And then I'm going to go through with um, one that has like a little sparkle to it. So it'll give a nice glow. So usually I like to stay within the temples right here, especially where I just went with the concealer. And that way it gives it that nice sun-kissed look. And then I just kind of blend it in. I don't want to do like too, too much, but just in those areas where I just went. And not only that, um, because it is a matte, it does give that um, nice smooth look. So if you don't want that extra sheen on your face, then definitely this is the way to go, a matte color. But if you like that dewy and glowy look, then this one probably would not be your best option. And then I'm going to go through and use this sparkle, well, this bronzy one, it has a little bit of shimmer to it. That's what I'm going to use again over here, over where I just went. I'm just going to get this little fluffy brush and just put it right here. Let's see if you guys can see that. See that shimmer? So these are the two that I used. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this Brow Chow it's item brand. This is gonna be used for my eyebrows. Actually, let me brush those out really good. My plan for this year is to go get my eyebrows done professionally. I have my friend Yomari she does eyebrows and I'm more than likely going to get those done um, this fall okay so my lights to my vanity one of the little strips came out so the lighting is gonna be really sucky right now so I'm gonna try my best to hurry this up I'm gonna go ahead and get the eyebrows done 
I'm just gonna go in smooth little strokes following the natural hairline. Just trying to fill in what's there. And yes, I am listening to 80s pop right now because I love it. So this is just to give it a little bit more definition and color. I don't like brows that are overwhelming. I just want something that just kind of looks natural. And then I'm just going to go through and brush them out again. This just makes it look fuller. Damn it, the 90s didn't ruin our eyebrows because we went super, super thin. And now it's like nothing grows there. So I'm just trying to do just a regular light look today. I'm going to go shopping for wedding stuff. So I'm going to be using this AM to PM. It's Lottie London. This is the eyeliner I'm using. And I usually like to go into the inner, inner part of my eyelid, so underneath. That's where I usually go. And then usually what happens is it transfers to the bottom. And I don't end up with screwy lines on top where if I mess up, then I have to start all over again. And just go into the inner corners of my eyes too. And then I just put some mascara. I'm gonna go use this Man Eater by Tarte. Look at that. Mm. Look at the difference between this eye and this eye. It's huge. It almost looks like fake lashes. So I really do like this one. Now the one item that I am 100% forever loyal to is going to be my lip sense. Why? Because that stuff is liquid gold. It never comes off of your lips. Well, it doesn't come off for the time that I need it to. And there is so much variety with their colors and I love it. And if I don't want to wear lipstick, then I can just wear their gloss and they have so many different colors and lip glosses as well. So forever and ever, as long as they exist, they will always be my go-to. The only time that I probably won't use them is if I go to an event where somebody else is doing my makeup and obviously if they don't use it or if they don't have um, I don't have the color that's needed for that specific dress or whatnot, then that's the only time that I will be using anything other than lip sense. And if you guys have never tried it, then you're really missing out because that stuff is amazing. And if you need information on how to get your hands on some, let me know. My best friend is selling it. She's a distributor and definitely can help you. Joanne Loomis. Okay, so the two colors that I'm going to use today are going to be Hazelnut and Praline Rose. Now uh, you want to make sure that you shake this up very well. Once you do, my options is to outline my lips with the darker color when you're doing two colors. And you always want to stay in the same direction. So. You want to make sure your lips are super clean and 
before you put on the second layer, you want to make sure that it dries all the way through. So I would say like 15 seconds. Once it's dry, then you can go ahead and apply the second layer. You want to ultimately end up with three layers. So I'm going through with Praline Rose. This is going to be a lighter color. And then now I'm going to go ahead and do my final layer, which is the hazelnut. And I'm going to let that dry while I look for a gloss. <laughs> so this is my stack of lip glosses that I have of my lip scents. I can never decide which one I want because they have so many options. And if you don't like a glossy look, they do have one that's a matte. So there are many options. I think I'm going to go with Sweet Pea. This one right here has a little shimmer to it. Yes, I love shimmers. Oh. This was a color that was available, I believe like two summers ago, and it is discontinued. I don't know. I think they brought it back for the lineup, but I'm not sure. Joanne, if you can clarify that, that would be great. But it is a lovely color. It's pink and it has a little bit like a mauve color to it and some sparkle. It's like little diamonds. It's very pretty. I like it a lot. So to complete my eye look, I'm going to use this Venus 3. This is by Lime Crime, and I'm going to pick this one right here. Just gonna use a little shimmer on my eyes, and I'm actually going to apply it with my finger. You guys see that? It's really pretty. And I'm just gonna put it right here in the halo of my eye. Nothing too extravagant. I just want a little shimmer, because shimmer is awesome. Voila. That is all for the makeup portion. Now I'm going to just go ahead and do my hair. So as you can see, my hair is a little frizzy on top because I don't have any product in it. But you can see all the curls intact, natural. Yes, this is my natural hair. I do not have a perm. And I love my hair. But I just want to make sure that it looks really nice. So I'm going to put some product and I'm going to go ahead and use my diffuser. The one that I'm using right now, it is by Adagio, Adagio, California. And it has a really big attachment and I really like it. And I'll show you what products I'm using as well. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to spritz my hair. Spritz my hair like literally just a little bit, enough to get it like a little bit wet. On both sides, I'll go under a little bit as well. Okay, so it has some moisture to it for this side for some reason it's drier and then I'm going to put some of this Hawaiian silky it's a miracle worker it has 14 different products in it 
or it works in 14 different ways. So I'm gonna spread this through my hair. This will give it some moisture. And then immediately after, I'm going to use Captivating Curls by Suave. And this will be my final product. This is a new product that I'm gonna try. This was from my Glam X box and from Ipsy. So I'll be trying that out and I'll let you guys know how this works. So regarding the product that I was going to use, which was this one, I actually found that even though the bottle is almost full, nothing's coming out. So I ended up using the Mix Chicks sculpt, Curl sculpt, Sculptor on my hair and it worked just fine but i will be contacting that swab company because that's the second bottle that i've had that happen with where the bottle is practically full but you only probably get like this much product and that's crap so anyways here's the end result curls lots of curls and now i'm heading out so that's it and this is makeup. I'm trying to find some good lighting here. Mm. I'll go outside and show you guys too. But, yep, yeah, curls are popping. But I will send some pictures on my page so that way you guys can see. And you tell me if you have any questions, concerns. <laughs> Bye.